part eight. Part eight, we are going to do Winnie the Pooh's world. Uh, this year, book world. Let's find out what it is. And it looks like it's Winnie the Pooh. How we do go? How we do this world? I wonder. Oh, we become small. Oh, we have there to do. No, we're not leaving. We're gonna go here into this empty meadow. Yep, it's with it you, alright. Yeah, my first guard. Leave this area, you just go to the thing, and then we be... over here. Oh, yeah. And we are at Winnie the Pooh's house. See ya! Set this on fire. Oh, who's this? It's Owl. Remember, welcome to the Hunger Acre Roots. I did that on purpose, you'll see why in a minute. Oh, we better ring before we enter. No oh, mother. There's no more honey left. If only the, the honey tree are very visit. good at this game. Oh, then I could believe you're thing. in it. Mega Eber, and then open this, we get our item. And look, sir. It's honey time. Alright, let's leave. Let me guess, you'll like to know what happens next. Or they some of the pages are missing, so I can't tell yet. These pages are scattered over many worlds. Will you find them for us? We have here ready to go, so let's do it. It's a giant honey tree. Now, I have the key bay free witches on from our Ooh. last pre part. Is anyone there? Oh, that's picking it. But we're gonna skip that. And I'm gonna equip the jungle king because it's a long range. You'll see why. But I go to Pickle here, he'll run into that. What you have to do is run behind him. So you just run around, and then boom. <gasps> and then skip scene. And then we'll go over to talk to Poo. He talks about he wants to get honey. Sure, we'll help get honey. Now Al's gonna t talk to us on how to do this mini game. I was going to offer a few pointers. There's four beehives. Three can move up with the food. Okay, the honey is inside the treehouse, not the beehive you see here. There's quite a lot of honey in these ones. If food gets too close, the bees will come out to protect our honey. We get food. If you dig it through, they'll pop his foot, knock on the base and knock me in. The more prime poo has eat all, the more honey you can eat. There's more honey higher up too. If jump from brass brass poo, don't go try the rust command. Rust can help you to catch up the poo quickly, but if it isn't fully liable, good luck. In other words, start a G base for the rush. That's why I have regular jump, not high jump on. Always move the camera. Oh. Jump up here beside Poo and then just stand and wait. Also, killing the bees gives you 10% more. And 
sometimes it'll help you get up to the next branch. You have two or over two minutes to do this. So I just just wait in here. And the piece get close. And then just wait. Even when you go up, the last beehive is right beside you. So we can stay here. So let him go up and while you get that. here for a while, so I'm not going to talk so much because I don't know what to say. So where do you think we should go next? If you played this game before, you might tell me what world should we go next after here. There's only one world that will take you right away to be a story, which will be in the next chapter. This is part 9. The next part will be part 10. I'm not even going to say the chapters part, I guess that's not really where I am. Paste turned into a new item. <clears throat> we got nature spark. <clears throat> <clears throat> when I get to new item, the best idea to do is to go directly to the fairy godmother. Talk to her, and she says it's another sim gem. It's helpless. And we get Bambi! I'm glad there's no Bambi world yet. Alright, so we're gonna save here. And I'll see you on the next. Who knows? I'll see you in the next world. <laughs>